Hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello. How are you? I am doing okay. I guess. So, what's up? <laughs> Go grab a snack. Something to drink. You know me. Mama's got her coffee. Cheers. Sit back, relax, and we are going to get into another unboxing. Mm hmm. Now, I did a couple giveaways this weekend, this past weekend that we're in. And uh, yeah, so one of them went up last night. And it is a bunch of stuff from my Boxy Premium. Mm hmm. Really cool stuff. So if you've missed that, here is the link and uh yeah it's down in my um video list of videos i also have a um playlist with all of my giveaways that i do listed in there so you can guys can always go check my giveaway playlist and see what current giveaways i've got going on and there are usually a few of them I know, but um, if you do see a closed word in front of the giveaway video, then that that giveaway has been closed and it's over. So you don't have to bother, you know, into that one. But anyway, what am I doing today? What are we unboxing? Well, I got my box from Fashion Stuff. Now, um, I was one of the first ones to get start getting this box when they released. I have enjoyed it so, so much. It is $24.99 a month. They also have a men's box, which I get for my son, and he absolutely loves it. He's gotten so many different things. Um, he's gotten men's body washes uh, from Brew, Brew, I think. <laughs> But it is his go-to wash now, body wash now, and I have to keep reordering it for him. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how much he loved it. So, I love getting these new things to try, uh, especially new and different things. And now, the exciting thing about this month of September, about this box, is that it is a world box. So, there is a list of all different items in this box from all around the world. And I think that is just a really super do duper duper cool theme so let's open her up and what we see inside is initially the card and then some really pretty packaging and all of the goodies now the card one thing um Okay, I don't see it on this card this month, but uh, the Box by Fashion stuff does uh, donate boxes to a um, organization in their area, out in California, and it is a great cause. I do love the fact that they give back to their community. It is a, um, a nonprofit organization that supports women that are affected by human trafficking domestic violence and you know, that is just something that's near and dear to my heart and uh, I am a very proud supporter and will continue getting this box you know for a long time not just for the great items that I get every month but also because it does give back to a great great cause okay so um this month's theme in september is global beauty community september we unite as one which is i think an amazing theme with everything that's going on right now yeah amazing theme it says we welcome you to the borderless beauty to borderless beauty this month, we are celebrating and exploring the beauty of our planet as one beauty community. Included in this box, we have seven incredible made with love products from Uganda, Ethiopia, Germany, 
France, Australia, India, and Italy. I mean, what? How amazing. I love this. We are uniting as one for a loving September to remember. Are you ready? Let's explore our beautiful globe together. Now, on the back of the card is a list of all the items that we get in the box. And then at the bottom, it has my box value of $141.50 for a $25, less than $25 box. Yeah, not bad. Okay, I'm going to take out the squigglers and put them in the garbage because they tend to make a mess all over my house. Garbage. Okay, so the first thing I'm pulling out do, 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 is Miko Beauty. MC Mco Beauty. Ultra Curl 4-in-1 Gloss Mascara. Volumizing Coating Lash. Long-lasting, no flake, no smudge. It's waterproof, lengthening, volumizing, and curling. Well, that's pretty cool. In the color black. So, I definitely have never tried this brand. I will give it a try and let y'all know in one of my Friday First Impressions what I think of this brand. This item retails for $22. It's a multitasking mascara that perfectly separates, lifts, enhances, and enhances lashes from the root from root to tip with a high gloss finish. Now, I've never really heard of a mascara that emphasizes that it's high gloss. I've heard that in line eyeliners, you know, like a matte liner or a gloss liner or something like that, but not a mascara. That's kind of unique. I'll call it unique. Ugh, look at my hair. It's like wackadoodle today. Anyway, like super, super messy bum. What else, what else does it say? With a special wand that grips even the shortest lashes with an advanced lash lifting formula. It's cruelty free. PETA certified. And this one is from Australia. Very cool. Next. Ugh, this baby is big. This is by T. Day M. Oh, Terra de Mars. Zero one zero. Sh Irreverence nourishing shampoo. Well, that's really cool to get in a box. Okay, Terra de Mars. This comes from France. O and O Irreverence Nursing Shampoo retails for $22. It moisturizes, regenerates, moisturizes, and repairs. This organic nutrient-rich shampoo from France is formulated with coffee extract. Cool. Rosemary leaves, aloe vera, and almond protein, leaving your hair soft and silky. Soft and silky, period. <laughs> it cleans, refreshes, and allows hair to regain its radiance and suppleness. Great for all hair types, vegan and cruelty-free. Let's smell her. Mama is all about fragrance. Okay, doesn't want to twist off. Okay, there's no safety seal. Okay, that smells good. It smells a little more citrusy than it does floral, which is a little different for shampoos because I do find that a lot of shampoos tend to be a little more floral or, yeah. But this is definitely a little more citrusy, which I don't mind. I think I would be kind of weird if my hair smelled like coffee though. So I'm glad it doesn't smell like coffee. But it's not bad for $22. That's kind of an affordable shampoo. That's not like outrageous. Okay, what is this? We makeup made in Italy. This is a matte lip matita lab labra. Okay, lip pencil. Even. 
Okay, so I'm assuming, whoop, there we go. Got it to focus a little bit. This is the color number 20 in Selena Rose. Ooh, okay. Oh, all right. So, okay. So here's the lip pencil. This is kind of cool. Okay, it's like a wooden pencil that you sharpen and stuff like that. Ooh. That's, that's a bright color. I guess we can go kind of cool with what I'm wearing today because I've got like, like sort of peachy tones on today. We make up. Made in Italy. Oh, wait a minute. It comes with a lip liquid lipstick and a lip pencil. So, okay. So here's the lipstick. Now this one looks like it's in the color I don't know what one one is. Yeah, I don't know. I thought maybe it was upside down, but it's not. Okay. Now, it definitely looks like a very different color than my lip pencil, which I find somewhat odd. I would sort of think that I would get a lipstick similar to my lip pencil, but it's not. Maybe it's a different style that I'm not aware of wearing two different colors, but let's check her out. So here's the packaging, which I find super stunning. This is, whoops, really cool. Look, it's all clear. I've never seen anything like this. I'm actually really impressed. Ooh, look at that. Look at the engraving on the lipstick. Okay, now you guys know this color screams my name. Oh yeah, it does. <gasps> oh, I am in love with this color. I am so in love. Look at that. <gasps> Look at that lip color. Oh, mama has to put this on right now. <gasps> I don't, I guess, well, this goes with everything. I would think it's so neutral. Okay, it feels good. It, it's pulling a little bit on my lips, which is always, you know, I mean, this is how I tried lipstick for the first time. I'm like, is it pulling? Is it going smoothly? Is it silky? And... Oh, we have company, so I hear everybody talking really loud in the background. It's another football Sunday that my hubby does with all of his friends. Okay, so I am obsessed with this lipstick. It feels incredible. OMG. Now, I'm not sure how I feel about that lip liner, but... Oh, this lipstick feels so good. It is so rich and creamy. And, oof, mama's in love. Okay, the lipstick and the lip pencil together. Okay, so this is a together price, which I feel is really good. $27.50 for both of them together. A highly pigmented and long-lasting lip pencil and lipstick for effortless makeup looks from Italy and lit and, and blit, 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 enriched with coconut oil, vitamin E, gamma, or and all, and serifical serif, silica. Alrighty. For endless comfort wearing, vegan and cruelty free. I'm loving it. Mm, this feels so good. And I am obsessed with the color. Because, I mean, you guys know me. I am a neutral, neutral addict. Obsessed with neutrals. Okay, next we have 
Nourish Mantra. Retrani Moroccan Lava. Okay, clay cleanser. I'm trying to read like different languages. But I should just go straight to the English version of it. Pure clays with activated charcoal for deep cleansing. Now, hold on, clay cleanser. Okay, cool, clay cleanser. Now this, any type of clay is supposed to be super duper 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 good for oily skin, which I have. Now, a lot of times these are made for all skin types. But if you have oily skin, keep that in mind that a clay cleanser or mask and stuff like that is going to be very helpful for oily areas. Okay. Nourish Mantra. India is from India. Okay. So that's cool. This cleanser is from India. Ron Ratrani Moroccan Lava Clay Cleanser retails for $18. You know, everything in this box is rather affordable. I don't see anything that's like out there price wise, which I think is really cool. Especially if you fall in love with the product and want to buy it again. Okay, this is made in India, an exotic clay blend with skin refining ingredients whipped into a buttery soft base. This cleanser is part indulgence and part fun. It absorbs excess oils. Mm hmm and removes pollution particles, deep-seated impurities, and deep dead skin cells, giving you clean, fresh, flawless skin, vegan, cruelty-free, paraben, and sulfate-free. Alrighty, let's open her up and see what it looks like. Okay, so here is the packaging. This is a really good size. I do not see a safety seal. Okay, so, ooh, okay, I'm making kind of a mess of this. But you know me, <laughs> I'm pretty good at making messes. So here is what it looks like. It definitely looks whipped, which I feel like is really cool. <laughs> Um, hang on one second. Okay. Cheers. Mm. Okay. So, this is really, really thick. Oh, yeah. This is super thick. Wow. Okay. I will admit, this is probably going to be a hard cleanser to move around your skin. So probably combine it with water, but look, it instantly removed the lipstick and liner that I had on my hand. Now I'm just going to use this makeup wipe. Oh my gosh, this smells beautiful. Oh, it's like a floral. That is so, so pretty. Oh my gosh. That is going to be just so luxurious to kind of to your skin, like cleanse like that with that smell. Oh my. I'm really excited for that. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. This box is a little open, but that is okay. 54 Thrones Butter. African Butter. Ugandan Vanilla and Ethiopian Honey. Okay. Not quite sure what it is. 54 Thrones from Uganda. No, oh, no, Ugandan vanilla and Ethiopian honey, beauty butter. Okay, so I'm assuming this is a moisturizer. It retails for $24, which is pretty good 
fusing the death of West Africa with an allure of East African Africa, this majestic blend of Ugandan and, okay, I'm sorry, I'm really bad with these words, Ghanaian, Ghanaian, I'm assuming that's from Ghana, Ghanaian shea butter sets the foundation for a luxuriously creamy and silky smooth African body butter can be used on your face or body, handcrafted, paraben and sulfate free, cruelty free, GMO free, and toxin free. Well, that's got all of the any type of gook at all missing from it. That's super cool. And here's, ooh, look at this packaging. That looks so high end. Look at that. Okay. Again, no safety seal. <clears throat> this is not coming out. Okay, I'm getting it out now. Let's take this off. All right, so definitely, it looks definitely like a butter, but it looks super duper rich, almost a little chunky, but you can also see, look at how quickly it's melting in from the heat of my skin. See that shininess there? Sorry, I need to get my nails done. It is melting into a beautiful melted butter right into my skin. Okay, I'm putting it on my other hand so that I can, it doesn't interfere with the cleanser scent and everything. All right. OMG, the vanilla in this is just popping. It smells like a vanilla cupcake or a massive vanilla cake. Oh, that's phenomenal. But, okay, here's my issue. Look at, okay, see how shiny that is? I have a very, very hard time with my skin with um, butters that are this, oh, how do I want to put it, creamy and um, a little oily because I have such oily skin. I'm probably going to pass that along. still super impressed by it. I have a couple people I think may really, really like this. Okay. Last but not least is this. And I am actually really excited for this. I did, um, as I'm reading you the cards, I scanned briefly and look, noticed this was a palette. And it's by Zova. Now, I have a couple other Zova products, which I have fallen in love with. Zova is a German brand. Zova Cosmetics. The Offline Eyeshadow Palette. This retails for $28. Here is the palette and the size of the palette. So, it is somewhat compact. Not too big, not too small. A precious and beautiful selection of 10, ooh, highly pigmented matte and shimmer shadow shades. This fascinating palette from Germany offers a serene getaway experience from sandy beige tones. Ooh, mama's going to love that. And tropical turquoise, ooh, to spirited reds of exotic flowers. Oh my gosh, let's open this baby up. Again, it retails for $28. Glasses up, sleeve up. And look at, oh my God, I love this bracelet. This is my Fab Fit Fun bracelet. Okay. So we've got a little plastic cover. <gasps> wow. Isn't this cool? So, I'm really kind of impressed by this. It reminds me of 
Mm, jewels. Doesn't it? You've got these gorgeous neutrals right here. This one tends to be really warm, I feel, and these are a lot cooler. And these are more cool tones. But I feel like you can too, just pull off a beautiful natural eye look with a pop of shimmer. And then with these, you can get a little more adventurous. Let's do some swatches. Sorry, this video is getting a little long. Okay, so here is that brownish gold shimmer. It didn't feel overly creamy, but oh wow, that actually performed really good. Summer. Of course, I'm always drawn initially to those neutral colors. Look at that shimmer. I could see myself using this with a lot of eye looks. Okay, definitely a lighter kind of lighter tone, which is fine. All right, let's dive into this teal. It is a teal shimmer. Oh, oh my gosh. <gasps> Please perform. Yes. Oh my gosh. I feel like that is the epitome of like a turquoise. Look at the purple. Wow. This is a purple shimmer. Okay, that one didn't quite. I didn't get as much on my finger though. Okay, let's. <laughs> there I went. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, that did a little bit better. That one's a little chunky. All right. Let me see. All right, those are good. Let's try a couple of these mattes. This is the purple matte and the kind of maroon matte. Here's the light purple. Okay, that's definitely light. Here's the maroonish color. Mmm, a little chalky, but that's okay. I mean, a lot of times, but look at the pay payout on my finger. A lot of times your swatches do not reflect how they're, yeah, wow, um, how the shadow is going to perform on your eye. Now, remember too, when you're doing your eye looks, a majority of the time, most of us, and I, I repeat, most of us, use a, an eye primer, a concealer, or something like that, then with a base shadow, and then we start our regular shadow look. So, that is a big, big difference initially when you're doing swatches compared to an actual eye look. In addition to that, you have very different skin texture on your eyelids and different, um, your eyelids are contain a different level of moisture than, say, your arm and stuff like that. So, uh, shadows do tend to perform differently on an eye than, um, wipe these off, than, uh, like, a regular swatch. So, don't ever be disheartened, I will use that word, if you swatch something and it doesn't swatch well. Don't ever write it off right away. Always give it a chance and do the actual eye look with it. A really, really, really good example of that lately was um, the Queen palette by Eloise that we got in Boxy Charm. Now, that palette is um, really, the swatches were horrible. Yeah, I had a very, very hard time with those swatches. And then I did an eye look, and you'll you'll see in a lot of my recent videos that bright, bright eye look with the purples and the teals and stuff like that. That was from the Eloise Queen palette. It performed beautifully when I did an eye look with it. So there again, don't always trust a uh, swatch. Okay, so that was our box from around the world. I'm obsessed. 
I am super duper duper happy with it. I would love to hear what you think. Definitely. If the box from Fashion Style is something that you may be interested in getting, I do not have a discount code. I am so sorry, but um, I have tried to get one, but they do not offer them at this point. Um, I do believe I do have a link below to just their website if you want to go check them out. The, like I said, their uh, women's box is $24.99 and the men's box is $29.99. So, as always, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to hang out with me. I love you guys and I appreciate you so, so much. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Have fun with football if that is what you're doing. I know that we will have a somewhat rowdy house for the rest of the afternoon. So, thank you as always again, and I love you. I'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.